All right, guys, welcome back. I am, this will be your featured Friday shop, and I had planned to air it last week, but you know, life is just kicking my tail right now, and my desk is very messy. Um, I've got like four journals going on literally all at the same time. I know nuts, but you know what? It's one of those things where I can work on this here, or I can work on that there. I have enough time to do this one, so just kind of grabbing and piecing and parting and all that jazz. So my featured Friday shop is um, Nikki Adigan at Musings by Nikki. And um, her Etsy shop will be listed down below so you can go check her out. The one I am using now is The Farmer's Wife and it is adorable. Um, so I'm going to flip through it really quick so you can see it. Um, it's very, very cute. And very sweet and perfect it's got a little bit of everything like everything that a farmer's wife would be involved in it's got it so and this is printed just on very plain paper um, so it prints well on whatever you print it on I printed it on both um, cardstock I printed it on regular copy paper and I printed it on my Epson um, presentation paper and it prints well on all of them. And I'll have to count up the pages. For some reason, 19's coming to my mind, but that I've printed so many kits this week, I'm not sure. So I'll have to go back and recount it when I get done here. All right, and so then here comes the embellishments. This is really cute finish, and I'll show it to you in a minute. Um, it's adorable. Uh, yep, some, some cards, some little tags, a postcard, little journaling cards, um, some um, coin envelope types, um, some ovals here, a belly band, a couple of pockets, um, some more journaling cards. So super, super cute. Okay, so that is the kit we're working with, and I printed it. Um, actually, I'm going to put that over here. I printed that at um, five by seven size, and so we have this adorable little mini journal. Um, so I think what we're going to work on in this video, sorry, I can't get my chairs right either. I think the kids messed with them. Um, we're going to work on all things mini at this one. So, um, this one has a little pocket in the front. Um, I haven't inked it yet. I do want to ink it, but I just used some of the scrap bits that came to make the, that little farmer's, uh, farmer's yearbook. So I'm going to ink that. We'll ink that in a minute. So, um, it's just one of my minis and it measures about four and a quarter by five and a half. And then it's got my favorite closure with some blue ribbon. Um, these are vintage doily things. And I believe I got this from Lori's shop. Um, uh, Grammy's Keepsakes. And it does have two signatures. And they are all, all the, all the kit pages that I used have, um, this uh, lace on it and it did have a third signature but it didn't fit so here's all the ones that didn't fit so I'm gonna make another smaller like soft covered one um, with just one signature in it um, that'll be at a later date but oh and I forgot to tell you this is wallpaper and that came from the beautiful Emily so Emily I finally used it aren't you excited okay so I made um, and this is actually wallpaper too and that is some that Emily sent me for Christmas and then um, since I printed it small, then I have um, little tiny tucks here for some of the little tags and everything. And so the back cover also has that. So um, yeah, just through most of this, this is gonna be more of a writing journal than like an overly embellished journal because it's already pretty chunky monkey um, with all the lace in it. So um, I am not a farmer's wife, but we kind of live like farmers, I guess, a little bit. Like we have a ton of livestock. Oh, and I should say these are all backed with um, uh, Denise's um, stain papers kit, too. Um, 
I'm really, really liking that kit as well. So, and then it's just got some coffee and tea stain papers, avocado, and then these pink papers here are actually um, uh, tea and red food coloring. I don't know. I mean, it kind of, it was different. Um, and then these bluer papers here were my um, uh, red cabbage papers, which didn't turn out quite as blue as I've seen them come out. And I think I just didn't use enough cabbage in it. So yeah, um, just all kinds of little, little pretties in there. Yeah, but every every page that has lace on it is a page from the kit. So, um, yeah, let's get started with the embellishments. I'm going to go ahead and set this out of the way for a second. Um, and I've got some ideas of what I'm doing with it. And then there might be a couple more, but I'll obviously do a flip, flip through like I usually do. Um, so I ordered these a long time ago, like a year ago at least, um, from, I believe it was Ula La Crafts. I have no idea if she still has it, um, but you can find her on Etsy. So we'll make a fabric flip out of this because it, it like just fits, I think. Oh, that was the other reason why I had the journal open. I think it'll just fit. If not, we can take, oh yeah, we'll need to take a little more down. Yeah, I'll have to take a little bit more down, but I, isn't that cute? Um, and it came, when it came, it came in like large amounts. And why I originally got them was just for these with these funny things. There's a Miss Cogs kit and it's like vegetable kids. And I had wanted to do a journal of that, um, but it was on my old printer. So I need to go back and like re-download and reprint um, the Miss Cogs images. So maybe eventually it's on the list of things to do as with most stuff, right? Um, so yeah, well, I'll just... I mean, I hate to get rid of that cute stitching, but it's, I mean, it can't be helped, right? Um, maybe I'll make some interesting scraps, huh? So how is everybody doing? It feels like, okay, so some of the videos that you've seen this week were recorded like a long time ago, or maybe not a long time ago, but quite a while ago. So I'm feeling kind of like out of sorts, I guess. Um, yeah, just like, I thank you guys all for bearing with me through this like tax season. Cause like I said, um, I, I do like to post every day, but I'm just not, not able to, um, it's really gotten that, that nuts at that office. Um, yeah. So n great, right? Building clientele and stuff. And I think that'll be perfect now and we'll figure out something cute up there. Okay, and the other tragic thing this week, um, I cannot find for the life of me that really cool stuff that Lori sent me last week, those like tissue paper um, things, because I was going to use it for these cute little Rolodex cards that she sent me, but again, can't find them. No idea. I put them up because I knew I wanted to use them, and now they are like gone. I put them up so well, I can't find them. So, <laughs> we're going to have to use a different napkin, which I'm kind of bummed about that whole thing because they would have looked really cute here. And trust me, like I have went, I have tore the room apart and wherever I put them, it's somewhere good because, yeah, I, they're, they are M-I-A. Okay, so we'll go ahead and put that back in there. And then, um, yeah, there's just little bits. And um, one of the things that I'm going to make is this really cute and simple, easy belly band. I'm just using some of the blue um, lace that I have. And I'm just going to lay that belly band strip down on this. And then we'll glue it in. Okay. This kit is really easy to work with. Um, yeah, there's all kinds of cool little stuff. So... And that's probably way more glue than I will ever need for this one here. But like I said, crazy times. So yeah, I don't even, yeah, um, subscriber, like welcome all new subscribers and welcome back to the old subscribers. I am like literally floored. Like th that's crazy. I can't believe that we're almost to a thousand already. Um, and I actually do have a couple of really exciting announcements coming up shortly. 
Um, and it may actually happen this week. And so then you're watching it on Friday and you're like, wait, we already know that. Um, but yeah, my local, one of my local brick and mortar stores, or the only one really, um, did a really awesome thing. And um, this week I think is when I'm going to announce the giveaway stuff. So like I said, you probably have already seen it by now. So no, yeah. It won't be a surprise then, but since I'm recording this on Saturday, actually, and you won't see it for a week, you know. <clears throat> it's always weird when I do that, like record a week in advance, because then like, okay, so, and I'm actually really, really behind on comments too. So I, I apologize profusely for being that far behind, but it's literally kicking my keister. Okay, so I'm just going to put this in there and then, I, then I'll trim around the edges because I want to put it high enough that it also hits that harvest. And my art glitter glues back to its old antics. I set it down and it like burps out glue like the Fabri-Tac. I don't know. I think it's the tip. Um, I've used different pens. I've, you know, I've cleaned it. I don't know, I think it's just this tip. Um, oh, and you know, you'll be seeing this like a, obviously Friday and this is Saturday, so almost a week. So by the time you see this, it'll have been almost a week Saturday. We had our little um, 4-H like first timer uh, get together, like training course. And oh my goodness, there's so many cute little guys coming in this year. Like, absolutely adorable little kids. <clears throat> I probably should have cut that down, huh? <laughs> now I'm just going to try to snip across it. Note for future mason jars. Maybe not so much. I was thinking I'd be slick. Not so much, huh? Yeah. You sure do get what you get with me, don't you? <laughs> At least it's never a dull moment, right? So I think we'll leave these as like little journaling spots here or tucks. I don't know. I, can't, I think I think I might use them as tucks because there's quite a bit of kit ephemera that I was thinking if we just put it like here and then used it as a tuck. All right. So and we have Bounty with our cute little chicken. Yeah, I think that's the best part of that volunteer job is watching these cute little kids just get so excited about their new project. Like, it, it's, it is really cute. And then when they're telling you all about their bunny, oh my goodness, it's like literally ear candy, you know? At least to, at least to moms, I guess. I don't know. Maybe not everybody thinks that way, but yeah, they are so excited to learn um, cause we have to teach them how to, how to handle their rabbits, right? Like they kind of know cause they've been taking care of it up until, you know, cause they have to own their rabbit by a certain date and all that jazz. But it is super cute to watch them like just tell you the fun things about their rabbit. Like, oh, he likes to play with this. Oh, he, you know, it's super cute. Um, so yeah, today was really just about, you know, Hey, is your cage big enough? You know, that sort of thing and they're just like you know because then that sparks all kinds of stories for them to tell you and the parents are like thinking that you're getting like really bored with their kids and it's like no no mom dad you go get some coffee and the kids and I are gonna talk we're just gonna hang and we're gonna learn yeah they're super cute I wish you could see these cute little faces and Gracie is kind of since she's old enough and she's grown up in the program, then she can kind of mentor a lot of these little ones. And she was even impressed with how much interaction, because normally the kids are terrified the first time they come in, you know, they're meeting somebody new, um, you know, and anything new 
is always scary, right? And so they don't usually talk a whole lot the first time around. You know, it takes them a while to get get warmed up to their leaders and whatnot. And um, yeah, not this group this year. Man, they're a group of talkers and thinkers. Like, yeah, that was pretty cool. Oh, how about that? And I dropped the cheesecloth on the floor. How about that? Yeah, so I don't know. What's been going on in your lives? I feel like I talk too much. Ah. <laughs> no, I know. I know I talk too much. That is why I started a YouTube. It's because I talk too much. I don't know. Well, oh, well, and here's the other thing going on in our lives right now. We've been in the market for like a camper trailer for like a little while now because um, now that it's official, I'll be at the fair more. Like you won't see me in August probably. Like I actually, I think I'll probably do um, some like show and tell like at night when the kids aren't there. I'll, I'll take some little bit of video footage for you to see the bunnies. I'll show you Gracie's project and stuff like that. Because um, there's, obviously, with Copa, there's, you know, laws against children being there and whatnot. So, I mean, I'll have to be careful with that to make sure I don't get any of my kiddos in there. Um, plus, it's a privacy thing with the parents. Like, they do sign waivers. But since it's not really a sanctioned for each YouTube channel, I could probably get in trouble for that. But... At night, when I'm locking up the barn, I, I have every intentions of showing you guys all the cute little fuzzy things that I get to see for, like, an entire week. Um, yeah. So, yeah, that said, um, we've been in the market for a camper because I literally, I have to be there to open the barns, like, at 6.30 every morning. Um... And then closing up the barn, the barns close at 10. So which doesn't sound like a lot, but when you live almost an hour away and you're not getting home till 11 and then you're back up no later than 4.30, obviously, right? Uh, well, and you have to shower before you go to bed because, you know, you're full of animal stink. Um, so, yeah. Um, have And they, like, they have camping spots out there. So, yeah. All right. So there's those three tucks. We did the belly band. And um, I'm sure that I've already videotaped it, but if not, um, I got these in happy mail um, from Lori at Lori's Creative Studio. I have no idea if she's going to list these or not. Originally, I was going to put her napkins on there that she sent me like last week, but yeah, those are the very, very ones that I cannot find now. Like I said, I had had a plan for them, and this was the plan. So, yeah, let's close up my ink. And get my glue stick. Oh, so funny story um, about my Uhu. So it wasn't just me, which makes me feel a whole lot better. Um, I sent it out to Kath Catherine. And she got it, and she's just like, uh, <laughs> it wasn't you. It is this glue stick. She's like, I've used this other Uhu for years and never had a problem. I have no idea what's up with this Uhu. So, yeah, it made me feel, like, a ton better knowing that it wasn't something I did, like, or I was using it wrong. Yeah, that was awesome to find out. So, but on the on the flip side, um, yeah, now Catherine's stuck with, like, five or six, um, sticks of glue she can't really use. <laughs> Sorry. So I'm just going to take a couple little pieces here of these little flowers and we're just going to kind of move them around and I think Lori also sent me some doilies and then I've got some other ones back here. We might go ahead and throw on some doilies and just kind of country it up a little. Um, and I actually... If I had to guess, it was either Lori or Tuesday that sent me these napkins. Glue book. Glue book. 
Oop, sorry guys. Oh. Oh, nice. Yeah. That would have been nicer if it would have revealed my tissue papers that she sent me. They'll surface. Just like, okay, so that the cover of this book, um, I asked... I asked um, Emily to resend me some if she had any left because I had misplaced mine. So she did. And then when I was doing all that cleaning in um, January, I ended up coming across it. So now I have two. And I've been struggling with the guilty feeling. Like, really? <laughs> if you had just waited... But I think Emily's probably good with it. So these are super cute. I really like them. These little minis. And they work perfect for this journal. And I think I will just... wet down those little pieces there kind of pull them out. I have it in frame, probably not. only use these like one other time and that was in my steampunk journal I like them I don't know why I don't use them more okay I was just gonna tell you about this other journal that I'm working on but this is Friday now right so you would have already seen it because they're airing this week so never mind Okay, that is super cute. We're not done with it, but I'm gonna let it dry a little bit. Let's do here. Yeah. Oh. Lovely. Grace just let in the puppies. Yeah, that little Piper, I probably haven't talked about her much throughout the week. Um, she's oh. such a pill. Like, she's a good girl. And, like, for the most part, knock on wood, after last week, she's pretty good. Well, I guess so two weeks <laughs> from when this video will actually air. Um, that week, I called it Hell Week with the puppy. Excuse my, my French there, guys. But, um, yeah, it literally... It's like she totally regressed, and um, we could not get her to stop using the floor as her personal bathroom. And um, yeah, so that seems to have abated, if you will. So yeah, she's back to her normal cute puppy self. Um, so now we just gotta work on not jumping, and because um, she's an Aussie, and they typically, our jumpers. Oh, there she goes. <laughs> Paul just said, pipe down, Piper. Oh. oh, so yeah, and that's totally daddy's girl. She is a daddy's girl through and through. So like, she likes the rest of us, right? And she really likes Bo, right? So she's kind of a guy's dog. And so she's all excited when Bo gets home, right? Well, tonight when Paul got home, oh my God, it was so cute. So I'm at, at the stove cooking dinner because, you know, he's home once a week. So I better do the good wifely thing, right? Make sure there's dinner for him when he gets home. Well, then that little stinker, she was sitting by my feet watching me cook, right? And then 
She hears the front door open, so she goes over and, like, walks towards the door. Then she figures out it's Paul, and she literally, as fast as she could move in her little puppy feet, was at, like, at him, jumping up. It was so cute. Yeah, and she, she does, she has little dog syndrome because her brothers are like, you know, they, they, the lab and the collie tower, tower over her and neither one of them will like yell at her, right? Like they don't, um, Domino gets a little grumpy with her, um, cause he's like the best we can figure is like seven and a half cause he was our rescue and we've had him a good many years and they guessed when we got him that he was like 18 months old. So we're guessing in between seven and eight. So he's starting to age, get hip issues, you know, that sort of thing. He doesn't tolerate as much as the collie does. Yeah, Jesse won't tell her no about anything. So here's those cute little things. Well, I'm kind of waiting for those to dry out a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and glue those shut. And um, yeah, but Jesse won't tell her no. For anything like that's his baby and that's just how it is she's allowed to pretty much do whatever to my dog that she wants to do and I'm like really dude you could tell her no like it's okay you won't get in trouble but he won't he loves his baby I was like, where did I put the other one? I don't know. I think we're just going to do this side this time. Let's see. It seems like it would be okay just to do that. And that was way too much glue. Um, I don't know what else to talk about. There's not really a ton dramatic going on right now, which is kind of, I don't know, scary <laughs> after the last couple of weeks. Um, I don't know. All right, so those are glued together. What else do we got? Um, I was kind of debating what to put, if we should put anything in those or just leave them how they are since they're so small. If I put in a ring... Or like a reinforcer, it's going to take up the whole thing. So I think we'll leave those as they are. Um, like I said earlier, I backed everything with Denise's kit. So let's... I forgot what else I was going to do. How ridiculous is that? Oh, let's make some tucks here. Um... And I'm just going to like randomly kind of put these things in there. And you know what? Secretly, I've been wanting to use these mason jars for like ever. So I was really ecstatic when there was already like mason jars in the kit. Like that's the bomb diggity for me. Because I don't, I'm probably the only person in the world, but I, I love, 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 love the, um, Um, mason jars. Like, I, I just adore them. Oh, right, because we were letting these dry, huh, for little pockets. <laughs> oh, you guys must just get a real big kick out of me, huh? Oh, but I need to cover that one. Do you see what happened? My stupid printer is up to its old antics again. But it, you know what? It only does it on the presentation paper. And it couldn't do it on, the like, the cheap paper, right? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, it's got to do it on the expensive paper, right? Do 
For some reason, I thought there was one more that was like that. Maybe it wasn't, maybe it was in the third signature that I couldn't fit in this thing. So, and there's another reason for me doing these little mini things. Um, I needed to refresh my fingers in the whole um, mini thing because the next few design team projects for poppiness are going to be um, smaller journals like this. Um, And I guess it's good for you guys to see that, like, obviously, um, mistakes in printing happen, and it doesn't mean you have to toss it out. It just means that you, you know, you get creative. Ooh, and we still have a little piggy we need to, to place, right? I think that's kind of what I was doing. I like a pink paper, maybe. bring out the little pink and the piggy sure okay so that's pretty bad let's put it across this <laughs> across the page from the uh, stove All right, is that all the pockets we have, like kit related and, yep, right? No, I have another triangle somewhere in here. Oh, right, the beats. Let's try this one. And like you can tell, I'm just kind of putting them in randomly. Normally I kind of try to plan it, but I didn't really want to do that with this journal. All right, so those are in. Let's see what else we should do with these. Um, I ended up cutting a few more of these than I intended to tonight, so I was thinking maybe, and maybe they're just a little too big. Um, there's some really cute little things in here, like these cute little Oh, look, I made three, so maybe we'll... I really like this little blue lace, so let's see if we can make like a band on it and not... Maybe... Turn it down. I made three, right? There it is. I was like, I made three, right? I'm not crazy about that. We have some of Emily's pretty, pretty stuff. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, I don't know how she frayed that. Not easily. That stuff doesn't like to fray. Hmm. Or maybe, let's see. I've got this is all that's left of that little white lace. How funny is that, huh? It was like it was almost perfect. Let's see, my big bag of buttons.
Because what farmer's wife doesn't have a lot of buttons, right? Oh, she's being really loud, isn't she? Okay, not like that, but I think we need to change the background. Maybe we change it back out to blue. Yep, I like that. Um, tap on the glue. I think I'm going to trim this down just a skosh. She's going to be horrified when she uh, watches this video and figures out that you can hear everything she's doing. <laughs> I'm talking about she being Grace. Oh, and you know what else I'm going to put in the middle of this button? Because I was like, well, I didn't thread it, but you know, oh well. But I pulled out this little thing that I have left because I love these little roses. And they're like, I don't know, I can't even tell you what they are. Just like little tiny roses. Almost like floss a little bit. Thinner than floss, but not, not as thin as like thread. Makes sense, right? Not really. I'm sure that looked real professional, huh? <laughs> Good thing I didn't ever complain or didn't ever claim to be professional, right? All right, super cute. All right, we gotta let that dry some more now. Now, let's see. This one I was thinking might look really cute with the. Oh, we don't wanna use the. The ribbon that's actually holding stuff together, right? Let's do because I need to ink them too. So let's do and this really, guys, I'm just playing. Um, I have no rhyme or reason, it's just kind of creating, kind of seeing what would look get good with like a little con country farm wife theme. I'll trim that off when we're done. I probably should have uh, tried some stuff out first, huh, before I just go for it, but so not my style these days. Oh, look at that. That'd be cute somewhere in there, huh? And it's the Baragus. Um, too bulky, I think, for this journal, but soon, Soon we will have to do that. Hmm. Oh, no way. Check out this cute little button. Little flower right there. That's it. We got to find something to match that. I don't know what we're gonna find to match it, but we gotta find something. I think if we cut a little bit of this into what we need, this little eyelet, I let the you know what I mean.
Okay, you know what? Bizarrely, I think I like it. It does look a little odd, but I think it looks cute. I think I keep going off camera. Okay, we'll let that get good and dry and then we'll ink it. Oh, we need to put in the fabric flip. Oh my goodness, look at all this stuff we got. Got to finish up. All right, this one I think might get one of these. Um, and I think I've showed it before, but like wired ribbon, don't discount it for your journals because you can always trim it and take out the wire and then cut it down a little bit further from there, or you can, um, like for right now, I'm going to use this as a little pocket in the front, kind of like our cover, and I'm going to find a really cute little button. To go on it and this stuff was stuff that I got from the dollar store um, probably two summers ago so I have no idea if they would still have it yeah no idea whatsoever and it just um, it's like nine feet yeah, okay, let's find us a cute little button to go on the front of that. You know, it'd probably be a smarter plan. A smarter plan would be to, ooh, I don't know what this is, but it's like a little disc. Let's put that one on there. That one looks farmish. Or it could be uh, vintage. Um, one thing not to forget is if you're using like this burlap stuff, once you've glued this down, don't press, just hold off for a minute and then stick something in the pocket that's not important. Um, where did that little piece go from earlier? Well, I guess we're just going to take a scrap piece of paper and stick it in there. And then I just kind of press it down, get it good and stuck, and then I kind of move my paper around so it's not seeping. Okay, so we'll wait till those are dry. We'll ink them. All right, let's find a place for a fabric flip. Um, I think I usually like those like at the center of a signature. So I'm going to put that one there and then we'll add, um, un it'll be an unconventional flip because I know what I want for the top and it's not going to be sewed this time. And I'm probably like crazy out of screen today. I apologize guys. Some more Emily's cute little trim. Go right here at the top. Then I think I'm gonna cut it down a little bit. I cut it in half.
Okay, and then I just got to thinking, I think I want that belly band in, in the middle signature of the next one. I'll let that dry for a second before I move on. And there's only really one thing I really don't like about belly bands is they get really loose. So I'm going to be doing something just a Scotian different today and I hope it turns out okay. And I'm gonna go ahead, just take this scrap here that already has glue on it and lay it there. And I will probably put it on this side here. I'm gonna go ahead and just measure just to make sure we're just about right, top and bottom. So I'm gonna use the paper as my guide, not the, not the lace, okay? And I can see through it. And I'm gonna go ahead and kind of gauge the middle. I think that's why I, I typically don't put more belly bands in a journal is because I don't like how loose they are. That's kind of my opinion. Again, my opinion is always, always just that, my opinion. If they work well for you, that's awesome. For me, they don't work well. But I think gluing it in the middle I think I'll be able to get these little car, these little coin um, ones in there is what I'm going for. That's what I'm shooting for. <clears throat> I have no idea how long I've been on and I don't know that I can tell with the piece that I use. I don't think I can tell how many minutes. 47 minutes wow and if you're still here god bless you no, i'm teasing like the kids totally worth staying the crafting meh, maybe not just teasing just teasing guys yeah the guys if you're looking for a really easy kit to use this this is the one like she's made it really easy um all the colors flow really well I mean, I think that's true of a lot of designers, but for a fun, easy um, kit, it's easy to cut out. It's not um, crazy to cut it out. It's, um, like I said before, it prints well on anything. Um, it's super cute. Um, you, you know, I'm kind of doing more of an electric, elect, eclectic type thing with it. But you could very easily turn this into like a vintage farm. And that's pretty much almost the style is a vintage farm anyways. So I'm the one that's turning it electric, eclectic. Oh my gosh, why can't I talk? Okay, where did my third one? I was like, where did my third pocket go? Okay, I'm more dry. Ah, I think these are cute. All right, let's find a home for them and then we're gonna start filling these. And then we should be just about finished with it. Um, And these little guys, I like to do glue on the sides, down across the bottoms, and then back up on the side. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and put them like almost in the middle of the page. Like that. Are there any pockets up through here? I can't remember, we have our flip, but. We gotta put one over here.
And I think maybe back here. Oh, doesn't that look kind of cute right next to the flower? I do think we're going to end up filling two videos because I don't think they're, well, let me check again before we start filling. And then if we, if it's over an hour, then I've got to like go skedaddle. Oh yeah, we're like at 51 minutes. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and stop this one and then um, I will come back in just a minute and film the rest of it, the filling of it. And then we'll do the flip through. So that one will probably be like 15 minutes. Okay. All right, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.